Tired of repeating yourself to ChatGPT? You don't have to. Before asking ChatGPT to do anything, give it a system message that describes how you think, speak and decide. That context helps it mirror your voice across every response. You open ChatGPT and in settings you look for Customize GPT. You'll see a form and you can even ask ChatGPT to fill it for you. The first field is what should GPT call you. Here you can use obviously your first name or whatever you prefer to be called when ChatGPT refers to you directly. Next, what do you do? Here, obviously, you describe your role and scope in practical terms. For example, what kind of decisions you make? What part of the business or product do you influence? In my case, I'm the CTO at a fintech company called Embedded, and I lead engineering, IT, and security. What traits should ChatGPT have? Here, you list how you want ChatGPT to communicate with you. Think the tone, the format, the language convention, what to avoid and how to write. For example, be sharp, not chatty. Use plain English. Always use ENAU spelling if you live in Australia. Next, anything else ChatGPT should know about you? Tell it how you actually use ChatGPT day to day. Give examples of the kind of work you need help with. This helps you guide context and quality. Now you know how to customize ChatGPT to sound more like you and have less repetition. Next week, we'll dig into more pro tips on how to use AI at work and ChatGPT. Thank you.